Hey everyone, my name is Morgan, and welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. Yesterday afternoon, Epic Games put out a developer update talking about some content coming to the Save the World mode in the very near future, along with some addressing of community complaints due to some recent updates. So, like always, I'm going to go through the important stuff in these videos and updates and give you guys that information as quick as possible. So, enough rambling here, let's get started. First up, they talked about stat caps. They said these were reverted to a looser state after the backlash of the 3.2 update. What this essentially means is if you're doing higher or lower level missions, your stats aren't going to be adjusted so drastically. With the 3.2 update, basically if you went into a lower level mission, you were dragged down so much in power level that you couldn't really do all that much. And if you went up against something slightly higher in power level, it was insanely hard. So these have been loosened up and it's a lot less restrictive. Moving on, anybody that owned a dragon weapon and it was affected by the 3.2 update where they changed your perk you have been gifted the original schematic you had before they changed the perks alongside the current schematic after the reroll. So if you guys had a pretty great weapon, you now have that back. They said weapon perks will not be altered by Epic Games until their reroll system is implemented, and I can't be happier about that. It shouldn't be something they're doing just out on a whim. They feel like adjusting our perks. Don't tell us, and then next thing we know, our weapons are screwed. So good on them for doing something they should be doing the entire time. Moving on, Nocturnos from the Ultimate Edition. They are currently being resolved to be fair both for those that bought the Ultimate Edition and for those that received it through other methods. Methods. So I don't know what exactly they're going to be doing with that or what exactly happened with the Nocturno as I don't have it, but they are working to, I guess, make that better after something they did. Now we're going to move on to the good changes coming very soon. Stack limits on crafting materials will be increased from 99 to 200. That's going to clear up a ton of backpack space for me. Durability loss on death will be removed completely. Can't be happier about that one. And then Plankerton, Canny, and Twine rewards will be increased to nearly double in most cases, so a more rewarding experience, definitely something to be happy about. And then they ended this with saying that AFK, Leechers, Perk Rerolls, and Trading in Global Chat are all things they hear us on, and all of those things are either being discussed internally or they are currently being worked on by the team. So we should be expecting some pretty decent changes here in the coming months. I'm definitely excited. Hopefully we don't have to wait too long for all of the great things that are coming the crafting material increase is going to be awesome of course the perk reroll is going to be definitely great once i can get rid of some of these trash perks they have but anyways if you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful a like is always appreciated i really do appreciate each and every little bit of support you guys show and if you guys are new to split screen consider subscribing for everything fortnite and more once again my name is morgan thank you all for watching and i will see you next time